Hi, welcome to Irish Army Adventures. Uh, Fisher Mark here today, tired in predominantly smooth hounds. So the mark we're fishing is um, it's off of rocks and it's a sandy bottom and it's about 10 meters deep, about 20 yards out. So once you get off the rocks here on the edge, it just goes off onto clean sand. So um, we've had two casts already and we've had fish both casts, so we're doing well so far. Um, all the smooth hounds have come on frozen peeler because it's difficult enough to get some live peeler at the moment. But as the session progresses, I'll show you the rigs I'm using, how I'm baiting up. And uh, yeah, we'll show you some fish on camera. Doesn't feel like there's anything there still. I wouldn't say it's weird, like there was a run. Ah yeah, it's a fish all right. Is he in the water again? He is. Yeah. Uh, it's 15. It is. So I just had this smoothie on a piece of crab there on a pulley rig, uh, just at about 70, 80 yards out. Um, so he's a nice size. We've had a few fish here now, every cast. So uh, I'll just get this guy back and uh, hopefully get a few bigger ones as we go along. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if it's a smoothie or a doggy. Uh, it's probably a smoothie. You have to swim into that one. Uh, go under that. Yeah, fuck you in here. I don't know. Uh, if I just keep some tension on it while I go under. He's only there. There we go. Just walk around there, oh, easy. Get it? Oh, bring it in closer, right? <laughs> Looks a lot bigger from below. So the rig I'm using is a up and over with about a three foot uh, hook length. Uh, the hook length is about 40 pound amnesia. On the bottom of that I have a 1.0 Camasan B940 and then I have a 4.0 circle with... Oh, we're away. That's a good one. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> you <know>? That's <laughs> the end of that. <laughs> Thank you. He was decent on that time. Oh, yeah. You can see here, Borg is actually having quite a bit of issues with weed coming in. You can see it all on the line as he's reeling in. Um, same thing happened with me with my last fish. Uh, you can see when I was reeling in, if you want to skip back, that I had quite a bit of weed on my leader knot. Now, unfortunately, throughout the middle of the tide, this became a big issue for us as it's leads and rigs started swinging in against the rocks and we weren't getting many fish but oh. uh, once mid tide kind of passed and we were starting to get into the lower end of the tide the tide started slowing down we got less weed and the fish started coming on again uh, that's a better fish okay. yeah
there? Yeah, yeah. See him? I can't see him yet. Stuck around the rock, huh? So I just had this uh, smoothie there again on a piece of peter crab uh, that was taken on a pulley rig with a 1-0 bottom and a 4-0 circle top hook. So uh, yeah, it's nice to finally starting to get a bit bigger. So the rig I'm currently using is a up and over. Um, so the bottom hook I'm using is a 1-0 Aberdeen style hook. Um, my top hook is a 4-0 circle with the barb crushed. So my bottom hook is actually only there just for a bit of bait presentation, actually holding the bait on the cast. Whereas the top hook is what's actually hooking the, the fish every time in the corner of the mouth. It's absolutely perfect. So how I'm baiting up is, so just grab a piece of crab. So this is a frozen crab. Just grab my scissors. So I'm just keeping this really simple. So I'm just grabbing the crab, just cutting it in half. So, not taking the shell off or anything, leaving shell on, just real easy. Then I'm grabbing the crab and I'm just literally dead simple, just going through the bottom socket here. We'll go through the second last one, up like this. So as I said, this bottom hook is only used for actually holding the bait. So just wind that on. And again, just being a bit liberal with the elastic, again, we're fishing for smooth hounds. They're not, they're not too particular on how well prepared the bait is. They'll take shell no problem. So don't worry if there's shell on it. As you see here, I'm just not even bother taking any shell off. I'm just cutting the bait in half. So a bit of elastic. So I'm just going to grab my top hook. Just go around two or three times, and I'm just going to prick it in the shell here and out just like so so it's a compact bait and uh, as I said the bottom hook I'm not really too bothered if it gets hidden or anything by the crab because it's only used for the cast it's this top hook will catch fish every time the corner them out and um, you just have to remember with circle hooks you don't actually have to strike just tighten up the drag nice and loosely and um, or nice and smoothly and it'll just catch the fish right in the scissors every time so uh, yeah, let's get this casted out now and hopefully get a fish on it. Go on. Yeah. He feels better anyway. Oh. Bit interesting. Come on. Huh? Is he just there? Oh. oh God. Thank you, sir. So I just got another smoothie there now again. Same rig, same bait, just on a pulley, just about 60, 70 yards out. So uh, oh, it's nice we're getting a good few of them here now. Uh, this is probably about my seventh one at the moment. But uh, yeah, they're all a nice little size, so I'll get this guy back here now. So we're just finishing up the session there now. Uh, very good session. I had about eight or nine fish in Berg, had a good few as well, so can't really complain. Uh, we had a bit of weed there in the middle of the session that kind of dulled it for a bit. We didn't have many fish while that was pushing through, but either side we were getting plenty of fish all the way up until we packed up the rods, literally. So, delighted. It was a very good session. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.